jump in this train, go one stop, and I'm going to show you my ultra budget hotel. Presto, smart TV. There you go. Aussie dollar, 23, almost 24. You'd probably say something like, where the heck's a square? Be impressive, I guess, the small scope. And here's Ramsey's Bread Street. When do you expect it in stock? Oh, uh, let me check it in the... Thank you. You just can't beat the classic British Land Rovers, can you? Looks like it's doing 200 kilometers an hour just sitting there. Oh, a simple office chair. Why don't they have that? Oh, wow. Getting hotter. Swim up bar? I approve any swim up bar. And here we have the Royal Oak. And as always, Leo, 45, Tiger, 50, Singa, 50, Samigal Light, 60. It's nice, yeah? Kids, families, expats, locals, all sorts. It just turned out all right, didn't it? Let's eat. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome to a new bid. I know what some of you are saying. Hey, STL, that's not a beach. I said I was going to the beach in my last bid, but I decided to stay over in Bangkok for an extra day because I've got one, a great hotel deal to show you. And two, I've got to pick up, hopefully, a camera that I've had ordered for some time. So, hope you enjoy. Thanks for coming along. Let's get to it. <laughs> hey, before we get on the BTS SkyTrain, let's have a look. The lineup for the exchange booth. Super rich. Wow. This is March. After high season and before song cran, but it's still humming here in Bangkok, I can tell you that. Canadian loony or pesos hanging in there 26. USD 35, almost 36. Euro 38, change 39. Aussie dollar 23, almost 24. Feel for the Aussies, their, their buck is similar to ours. <laughs> By the way, if you missed my video where I'm showing Soy Cowboy, I'll link it. I'll link it above or below. Have a look in the description. Yeah. Okay, grab a sky train. Oh, waiting for the sky train, It'll only be a minute. Remember in the previous vid, or one of the previous vids, I showed you my top value hotel with pool in Lower Sukhum Beat, which is just up there. Well, this time, we're gonna jump in this train, go one stop, and I'm gonna show you my ultra budget hotel. For around 15 to 16 bucks. It's just one stop away. Oh, that girl's so lovely. She waited for those people to get on. Those Thai people are so nice. And here we are at Prom Pong, only one stop away from the Soak. It's amazing how one stop can be an entirely different ecosystem. Kind of same, same, but different in this case. Prom Pong, and of course, in Corche, and our hotel of choice is right beside all these Swiss shopping malls. In fact, right beside Sarney's right up there. Great coffee spot, as we'll see. Okay. Big exit number three. You got a lift here too, by the way. Let's take the stairs. Okay, street side. Take a right. Ooh, nice 
nice looking eats. We've got some great eats here too. It's Imchan. There's two of them. One and two. There's some of the best priced food on the street and good quality. See, don't believe me? It's right on the menu. <laughs> Thai food, very good and cheap. Yeah, cow pad guy, 60 baht, not even two bucks really. So you see really good prices. This is handy too. The hotel is right around the corner. See ice cream man? Organic Sustainia. Sustainia? Small sell for 70 baht, that's all right I guess. What a cup? Organic. Wow. Right. Sarnies. It's an upscale Sarnies. Good food, but a little bit pricey. Retro 39, it's another popular little hotel on this soy. This little cul de sac soy. Bow tie massage. It's Main Street there. We are right here. The Nantra. So got a nice little cafe right out in front too. Perfect. I think this is the best value hotel without a pool in Central Sugan Bay. Let's go in. So what the crop? Very nice. Cup cup. <laughs> you got free coffee too. How do you like that? Okay, nice staff. Nice lobby. So I. Nice artwork. Busted. Sorry, kitty. And the lift. Okay, up to the loom. <laughs> Five plays. So just so you know, this is gonna be a small room. It's an ultra budget place, but it has everything you need. Won't suit some, but. This way. See, the hallways are nice enough. Here we are, 507. As you can see, it's not a bad size, really. King size bed, nice and bright. Let's just check the softness or firmness of that bed. I would say medium to firm, but not too firm, not bad. And this room has a bit of a view, as you can see. On the right, we have M. Courtier Shopping Mall, and this is the alley that we came in on right there. And directly across the street is the Emporium and another Ibis Hotel. I think this Ibis is a little bit pricier. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it while we're talking. Anyways, great value at the Ibis as well, but back to our room. So here's a, the view from the other side. Aircon, obviously. Fridge, complimentary water toiletries, a little safe. Why give these little safes? They could just pick it up and leave, couldn't they? <laughs> I've never lost anything in a, in a Thai hotel room in 20 years of Thailand, so that's just me. Only Thai TV channels, but a little bit of sport, that's all right. If you want English channels, just bring your TV stick and stick it into the HDMI cable and presto, smart TV. Hong Nam, nice water and clean. Hot water shower. Extraction fan. One good thing about the shower, it is all in one, but there's a step up, step down separation. So hopefully the water stays on the shower side. And here's the outside of the bathroom area. There's a mirror there. There is a pull out stool. You can sit on it. Do some work, I suppose. Speaking of which, got my laptop out. Let's just do a speed test, shall we? Looking promising. 80, 90s, final tally. 78 down, 17 up. Not bad. Yeah. Okay, that's a quick look at our ultra budget room. As always, there's hotel booking links in the description below and I'll put the price on the screen now.
Also, you've got Benjusiri Park right across the street, the Robin Hood Pub, the Royal Oak Pub, and an Irish pub just around the corner. Cheap Eats right outside. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Right next, let's head over to that new almost $1 billion shopping mall to the DJI flagship store and see if they got my camera I've been waiting for. I've been on the wait list. Let's go. It's clean hallways, my dad. Down, please. Do you have some people stay here a long time too? I see you have delivery, yeah? yeah. How much for one month? Uh, to be able, 5,000 baht. 12,500 baht? Yeah. Thank you, I love your room. I have some monthly rentals. What do you know? Cool. Hey, that might not be a bad spot to stay cheap and cheerful for a short while while you're looking around for a more permanent place. Fresh strawberries in Chiang Mai. And of course, who can be with all the energy buzz and noise <laughs> and fumes, I might add. Oh, out of order. I have to do a little manual walking here. Don't mind getting my steps in. So to the right here we have Imkwerche. But you know it's so 2015. And to the left, the Emporium. And it's so 1997. The new epicenter, the Hemisphere. Lovely new walkway. New to me anyways. Kind of have to wonder what old hands like, uh, I don't know, Macon Kurt, rest in peace, would have said about all this. He'd probably say something like, where the heck's a square? <laughs> old Washington Square, long gone. So old hands will remember. Some spooks who sat at the Texas Lone Star and the Silver Dollar. I don't know anything about the spying business, but I do know this. If the guy in the bar stool next to you suggests that he's a spy, chances are he's just lonely, trying to impress you, or living his best Walter Mitty life. And best just check bed and move on. <laughs> Long gone and replaced now by, well, Ikea and Hemisphere. And importantly to me, not to be selfish, hopefully my camera, the DJI flagship store. M District calling the world. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hemisphere. Oh, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Not really. We're inside the belly of the beast. Let's have a look see, shall we? Be impressive. I guess. The small school. Uber Posh. Starbucks Reserve. There's a Gordon Ramsay Bread Street kitchen and bar. Jamie's got one as well. All the Brit TV restaurateurs are set up shop here, I believe. And here's Ramsey's Bread Street kitchen and bar. Lots of bums on seats in there as well. Some of the offerings. The famous Beef Wellington, 3,900 for two, mind you. Come on, who would want to try this at least once? It'd be worth it if Gordon himself was in the back saying, you effing idiot, get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Can you get your together, please? Come on. I still prefer Villa over Gourmet Market, I hate to say it, but Villa just has more selection in their tiny stores compared to the Gourmet Market. Looks like everybody's here. Give you a little view of the traffic flowing by here. People watching for you. I'm not big on malls, I'm here for a camera, but this is, uh, well, this is a spectacle, isn't it? Wow. People are literally dancing up the escalators there. Lots of bums on seats in every restaurant by the looks of things. Man, what a vibe. I just love all this kind of uh, art deco fluorescent tube lighting here and sign signage. Absolutely fantastic. Love the big band music. Hey, that's my favorite right there, so far. That was not bad either. Like both. And not to be outdone, Japanese Maji Curry. How cool is that? Let's have a closer look. 
the kernel seems a little bit bland compared to the joy of the East. How fantastic is that sign? Have a gander at this KFC. It looks like uh, original fonts, etc. Bucket for one, 89. That's not bad, is it, really? See what I mean by the old school font, etc.? I kind of like that. I guess enough time on KFC. <laughs> and up to the DJI flagship store, the reason why I'm here. And hopefully a new camera, we'll see. Okay, welcome to the exotic car floor. Check out these bad boys in a minute. But first, see if I can accomplish the mission I came here for, which is the DJI store. So what the cup? I'm on your waiting list. Yes, do you have one? Oh, we don't have any stock, sir. What? Yeah. When do you expect it in stock? Oh, let me check it in the... Thank you. This is what I've been waiting for. That's one pocket three. At the end of this one? Yeah. Because well, I heard it was coming today. I'm number 13 right. in the queue? Yeah, in the queue. Good. <laughs> Can I pay online and you send to me and walk oh, in? Yeah, of course. Official, right? Line official, yeah. Yeah, yeah we we'll let you know in line office. Oh, last thing. Can I ask you about the mic too? Oh yeah, of course. Thanks. Okay. Check out that gimbal. Holy crap. I don't want to plug in the receiver to my uh, camera. I want it to be Bluetooth. This one is Bluetooth, right? No, yeah, yeah. no receiver. Well, how much is the Pocket 3 Pocket Creative three. Combo? Yeah. 21,900. Good, good. Okay. <laughs> well, while we're here, let's have a look at this. Uh, this is mine. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have this one? Yes. Uh, it's only 9,900 or for the combo that I have, 14,000. It still works great, in the, even in high wind, it works great. It's, anyways, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Come on. So if you're looking for a drone or an action cam, etc., and you want somebody with product knowledge, go down to DJI here and see Kunai. Great staff and well up in their product knowledge. Right beside DJI, we've got some Monster Ducatis on display here. Beautiful bikes, yeah? Looks like it's doing 200 kilometers an hour just sitting there. Okay, this, this one, right? Yeah. This one is Panigale SP2. It's 1 million and 70. 1 million 70 thousand baht. Did you drive one yet? Uh, I, I, I ride on the only uh, the, the standard one, not, not the top one. Were you scared? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Did you love it? Yes. yes. <laughs> Beautiful bike. Million and change. And of course we're going to look at the cars, starting with this Amira Lotus. Beautiful looking car. 12,900,000. That's, I'll put the price on the screen, but I'm guessing that's around a half a million, something like that. As much as I bang on about electric cars, because it's just a reality that we're all going to have to deal with sooner or later, I just absolutely love the roar of a V8, a V12, a V16, and an electric car just can't replace that visceral kind of experience, can it? Land Rover Defender, fantastic British heritage car. And I believe that they're part of what, Tata Motors or something now? Good to see the bloodline is still going, but uh, you just can't beat the classic British Land Rovers, can you? And price, you say? Again, grab yourself a bargain. <laughs> Seven and change. From British heritage bones to Hyundai Electric. I'm kind of half and half on the rims. But just the shape of the car itself is pretty styling. Ken, thank you. Beautiful looking cabin there. Yeah. Moon roof. Anybody who loves four in the four or vertigate shifter, unfortunately, <laughs> just not gonna have one here. But for functionality, not bad. Ooh, I like that noise. The world is crying out for affordable, no compromises, small electric car. And this is the BYD Seagull. Everybody's wondering whether this is the car that can bring affordable, no compromises, electric motoring to the masses. And today, Not to be outdone, there's your modern Magnum PI. I'll tell you what, I love the Ferrari Red, but there's something about that sort of steel teal blue. And again, as much as I bang on about electric, how do you replay something like this? You just can't. How fantastic is that? That's motoring. Hi Studio, here's another dilemma I'm facing right now. I'm still on my original MacBook Air. There's mine right there. And this one's going for the M1 with 8 gig, the base model that I have, 34.9. Mine is still working beautifully. It even crunches through 4K video, no problem at all. And it's just super fast. I'm just gonna keep rocking my 
my base air until the M4 comes out and just give a give a miss on the M3, I think. So, even the Boots is like Uber upscale. Check this out. The pharmacy or chemist, if you're from where the Boots is from, or if you're from Canada like I am, it's a drugstore, eh? By the way, I just checked. No bum gun. Bum guns are way more civilized than what we used in the West. Please stop taking them out of, the, of all the new shopping malls and everywhere else. Thank you. Damn, look at this. It's gotten dark already. See what happens you come into a mall and you lose all track of time. People working off those IKEA meatballs because the escalator's not working. Well, that makes it easier. IKEA is all on one floor. The one in Bank Na is on two floors. Here we go. Into IKEA. Why am I walking into IKEA? Just have a look see, I suppose. What does a neck torp cost in Thailand, you ask? It's around 300 bucks. What's a neck torp, you ask? <laughs> that sofa. Pretty good as neck torps go, I think. <laughs> I have no idea. These guys have already moved in here. Pretty bog standard IKEA, I think. I like all Scandi designs. I like the clean lines, the functionality. You always wonder if something like this will go out of style, but it's, it's still in style. Waterloo by ABBA for Sweden. Watch this one. Sweden, they've never won it, but they've surely got to be up amongst the reckoning with that one. And who among us hasn't had an IKEA throw rug of some sort? Guilty! <laughs> chum, chum, chum. Cha-ching, cha-ching. The chum items. Stuff that catches your eye and you think, hey, I need that shelf or I need that, that little stand or whatever it is. See, actually, I need a cushion right now. 49 baht. That's a bit too thin. See, they almost got me with their damn 49 baht chum. <laughs> Here's something I need. Office chair that I can dismantle and chuck in my car. This is when you go to a hotel or a guest house or whatever. They have nowhere to sit, you know, and I've got to spend the next eight hours editing. A oh, simple office chair. Why don't I have that? If I had a hotel or a guest house, I would definitely have an office chair in every single room. Ah, I was bobbing when I should have been weaving. Instead of turning right, I should have turned left where it says restaurant and cafe. I can smell the Swedish meatballs. <laughs> Free hot drink, two glasses per day. Salad, 39 baht. You can't beat that. It's over a buck. Kids Swedish meatballs, 79 baht. It's like two and a half bucks, something like that. And the regular meatball plate is 149. 149 for that. That's all right, doesn't it? Salmon, 195. Looks and smells awesome. Looks good, thanks. And here's the spacious dining area of the IKEA. And right there in the corner, you get a nice view of the Sky Train, etc. Okay, I want to get the heck out of here and eat somewhere close by. Tak and Adja. Basically, the STL's garbled attempt to say thank you. See you later. Tak so mycke. So thank you so much, basically. Exactly. Okay, leaving the car show and heading up to... What the heck is this all about? What I'm looking for is there's a club. I don't think it's my kind of place, but let's have a look anyways while we're here, right? We're getting closer. Let's try the vibe at the tribe, shall we? Take a left here. This place is fronting pretty good. Let's see if they can live up to all this kind of hype, the red carpet, etc., etc. Let's see. Let's see if they'll even let me in here. I'm not really dressed for this. Over the left we have Skytrain, Sukhumvi. Oh wow! Hello. You have a, you have a pool? Yeah. Can I see? Yeah, you can see. Thank you. Okay. Well, it is a bit of a vibe, I guess. Sounding tribal. Where's this pool? It's hot, I tell you. Getting hotter. Wow, this place really is a vibe, isn't it? Not really my kind of place, but kind of cool. Swim up bar? I approve any swim up bar. Kind of like the tribal tunes. Closer oh, look at that. That's fantastic. <laughs> what 
Another blind? All right. Completely didn't expect all this. Right across the way is Hemisphere and my hotel, right beside that. There you go, so this is right next door as well. Hey, now what's happening? I would open this right up instead of having all these plants here. Have that instead. Just a small point of criticism. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Got some VIPs. I'm not one of them, so. How much are the drinks here, I wonder? Okay, I got a hold of a menu here. 150 baht for starters. Well, really, it's not bad. Okay, apparently I've got to scan the code to find the price of the beers, but... There you go. Again, as nice as this backdrop is with all the foliage, I would much rather have a city skyline, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a city skyline. Right, we're off. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think if you're on a date or for a treat, give the tribe vibe a go. Ah, so this is the shortcut out of here. Come, come. Tunes just keep rolling. The guy literally just said, Be me up, Scotty. Another satisfied customer here. So, I hope you enjoyed our little trip to the atmosphere. I'm pleased I've got confirmation that DJI is going to fulfill my order. Hey, you know what? Let's go down to the street level here. Walk back along the street to be a little more interesting. Than we yeah. Oh, from the atmosphere to the ecosphere of Sukhumvit. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> doop, doop. This place is actually quite good, too. This Kenzo Susian. Just got a quick peek inside. Busy, busy, busy. Quick look at the menu. That's what I do is you get yourself a beer, right? And then get a bunch of small things. Like this barbecue chicken for what? 88 baht? 48 baht for some kimchi? And enjoy. Try not to get run over here. Street vibes going on. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. Of course, the old Villa supermarket. Kind of like a Whole Foods, a bit spendy, but it's everything you'd want, just about. Anything you can't find at Villa, you just buy it online at Shopee or Lazada. And they'll have it delivered to you and then Jiffy. Always bustling in there. I'm not going to go in there, it's a bit of a rabbit warren. Let's take a walk around the horn here. Sunrise Taco is still going on the corner here. Greg Lang's Enterprise, formerly of Sunshine Business Advisors. And he also does some fantastic charity work. Good on him. Busters, fish and chips. 
Guinness on tap. That's new to me anyways. I haven't been up this way in a long time. Hmm, worthy of a visit another time. And here we have the Royal Oak. It's a bit of an institution. It's kind of a, a better priced British pub. Maybe I'll show you a couple things in the menu. Something going on down the street there. Weekend roast. Doesn't say what the price is. What promotion? What? Uh, Jameson. Jameson, 99 baht. Grab 99 baht. Whiskey are you? <laughs> Whiskey are you? Can I have both? <laughs> Create your own brekkie. 199, seven items. It's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, weekend roast. Roast beef, 379. Pork loin, 329. Chicken. And the mixed roast, 415. It's not bad, is it? Carrying on. Maybe you get a 7 Eleven, of course. If you don't want to pony up for roast, there's lots of street cheap eats here as well. It's up for everybody. And this is the Laughing Tiger. It's new to me. It's like a lively place. Yeah. More liveliness here. Hi. Ye old Robin Hood. It's not St. Patty's Day today, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Bloody hell. And, as always... Yep. In the Ides of March. We're, we're basically, in, technically in low season here. <laughs> So, so it's going to be 33 1, live and well, I can absolutely attest. But uh, I've, got, I've got a different place in mind for a little grub and grog. You don't mind coming along, I hope. It's going to be another long ass video, no doubt, but it's part of the course. It just means more hours of editing. What fun. <laughs> okay, back up to the walkway and the sky train. Final look back at the M Sphere and the bar we were at up there. And onwards to our next and last destination, I believe. Well, the side trip life, you never know what the hell's gonna happen. I certainly don't. Beautiful, yeah? The mall, I'm talking about the mall. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. There's another place called Escape way up there. I've been there before too. I'm not gonna go there tonight though. We've got an escape of a different sort ahead. Okay, while we're waiting for our ride, here, see if we can spot our hotel from here. There's the M-Sphere, and our hotel is right behind that building right there. Here comes our ride. Welcome to Pakenol. Bear with me for just another minute. Plenty of street food here. All kinds of street eats here. When we're going, there's gonna be a cornucopia of food. Okay, welcome to W. Actually, I used to live up the road here not too far at a place called Wisdom Connect. I'll link that actually. Have a look at that video. Around the back here, girl making an offering to Ganesha. There's Cosmo, it looks like they're packing them in there. Cosmo, lovely place. Look at that beer chang, 65 baht. Bottle beers, Leo, 45. Tiger, 50. Singa, 50. Samagal Light, 60. That's fantastic. Heineken, 50 or 90. Fill your boots. Let's go around the other side. Estrala, Galicia. 
Oh yeah, there's bums and seats here. Singer with a rendition of My Way, doing it his way. Okay, we can definitely find something to eat here. Maybe not here specifically, but what's pretty good. It's a crew cup. Real French fry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, well, W seems to be going fairly well. Cooper. Hey, Coop, my buddy back home. Cooper steak plate. One fifty. That's pretty good. Okay. Burmese cuisine. Pretty reasonable prices too. Burmese tea leaf salad. I've had that before. Fantastic. Our roots. Greek by Avra. It's all right, doesn't it? Skewer of plate, two large skewers of chicken. I'll run you two, 290 or 220 for one. Falafels, of course, Thai food. Smash and grab burgers. Puri Puri chicken, sushi snack, Chinese, all sorts. Oh, Mexican. Let's go over there and have a look. Thanks. If you're hungry, you have the inside the here. Wow. Very tempting. That's good, thank you. Steak labs, hang on. See, I've been eating a lot of Thai food lately. I wouldn't mind having a barbecue something. Can I order? Can I get a chicken? Uh, one skewer. One skewer, is it like this, this one? Is it real mashed potato? Yes. Oh, definitely mash, thanks. And dressing for Oh, honey apple cider, please. Thank you. Now I want one more thing. India. Mm, I wonder if they have a samosa. It's nice, yeah? Kids, families, expats, locals, all sorts. Tourists probably. Okay, the samosa's arrived. That looks kicking, doesn't it? Happy. Oh, here comes my other accompaniment. Come up. Lovely. By the way, this San Miguel light was 100 baht, three bucks for that. Singer stopped. Oh well. Never mind. Look at these samosas. That looks awesome. And it comes with all the sauce, condiments. Still got chicken coming too. Oh, look at that. Wow. They just turned out all right, didn't it? Let's eat. Dip that in a little bit of the real mashed potato. Mmm. Damn, the flavor on that. Oh God, this is so good. Okay, after the carnage. Ah. Excellent, loved it. It's all right. Straight down this alley. Find us an after dinner drink. You never know what's around the next corner on side trip life. Besides a red bus. The old mad bulldog and grub. And the Beatles.
caught that, but uh, it was so loud before. San Miguel Light in here? 100 baht. Not bad. She said this place has been open for one year, so see you later, Mad Bulldog. Hop and grub. I'll be back. Right. Well, this looks like a good place to sign off. So, thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed. I will be going back to the beach starting next week, so stay tuned for that. See you in the next one. Bye for now. Good night. Thank you.